The comments that I made about um, Cora being a chronic cheater were inaccurate to my knowledge. She cheated at the beginning of the relationship. It caused a rift. I have forgiven her and we have tried to move on. Um, everything, all the comments about these children not being mine are absolutely false. These are my children. I love them. And all other statements that I made in that post are accurate and correct. You see, I'm eh? When something they go on for your relationship, you want talk, you want solve problem. The last place for you to come to come, that be social media. Because even if you can't come out again, change anything, the one who will not talk before, and that one will go hold. Even if it be say you came to call for solution. And of which say you should know by now, say, solution no day, social media. Social media go help you scatter. Solution no day, social media. <laughs> yes, so even when with the thing say, probably you, it was a prank, you also came out to say it was not a joke. Yes. Sorry, my people. Let me greet you now before we go analyze this matter, before we go choke our mouth, even though they don't ask us, so they don't ask for our opinion, they don't say make we can't talk our own, but as per the social media in laws, when we be, as per the social media brothers and sisters, when we be, we must choke our mouth, put now. Me, I go talk my own for here. For the comment session, I go the way for we make we choke our mouth, put because all of us, we must talk this story together. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me introduce myself. Only for those who just they come across my channel for the first time because Una won't be my people. Una don't already know me already. So for the for those of you coming across my channel for the very first time, now my name now be Vivian. Vivian Oko to be precise. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? And um, you're welcome to my world. This is Vivian Oko's world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So about five days ago or four days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Cora Obidi's husband, Justin, then came out to say, say, na so a wife they mistreat him, na so the wife they cheat on her. In fact, na since when they don't marry, na the wife don't they cheat, that she's even a chronic cheat. In fact, being that say we they see their relationship, their marriage as perfect marriage because this Cora, their marriage, everything she did. Not only when they, they make house, now she know they put out. We they see everything for na social na na for Facebook, na for Instagram, I've been na for Twitter. Everything. If she come out here, she enter here. If she come out here, she enter here. Even when she they chop na social media she did. And we saw this relationship as one of the most perfect. Even though we know very well that there is no perfect relationship, there is no perfect marriage. But somehow, we the online in-laws, we saw this marriage as perfect. Now, even because of this reason, being that we saw this marriage as perfect, that was why when justice came out, we didn't believe him. Me, for sure, I'm going to speak for myself. I didn't believe on a normal day, as Tori they come out like this, me, I don't choke my mouth since, since now. I don't choke my mouth since. But I just felt, okay, this man are from a very civilized part of the world. He knows it is totally wrong for him. He knows that <laughs> postpartum depression is real. Coming out, so come talk about something like this after barely one week that the wife gave birth was a no no. I felt he know he he should know better, and also I thought ah it could also be this is a form of publicity for Cora because Cora just published a book. So I just felt it was a prank, even though he came out and said it wasn't a prank. And then what also got me shocked was when the sister. Cora's other sister that lives in Nigeria came out to also confirm that there was something that was actually going on. But something got me thinking with her write-up because what I was expecting her to write was, wasn't what she wrote. You know, I was expecting her to write, please, I know this that um, Cora is a social media person. Her, her, she's a celebrity. But this time, 
uh, we don't want you people to to bash on them to start asking them questions why they brought their marriage issues to the internet instead she was writing please let's pray for them like if you want to pray for them don't you know your way to your pastor anymore just say you no know. and then she said that she has been on the phone with them all morning all day that they've been on the phone that they are looking for a way to resolve the matter but now we should all look like we should all join them in prayer to, to take out one second to pray for them i, was, I just felt everything things i just felt something was fishing but now that justice justice done now made an apology video i thought truth might be inside of it because at the end of what he wrote of course he made that video then there's something else he also said that got me suspecting that truly and also there's something else before the whole all of this whole would i say saga or whole story Cora did a live stream on Facebook, I think two, three days before the whole, whole story started. And he was asking Justice to get her a jacket. And some of Wasabi in the comment section felt the way she approached her husband or the way she was talking to her husband was wrong. I don't know why people would think like that because why people not get time? Wise people don't have time. They play a lot. Don't ask me how I know. I live with one at home, so I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I felt this man, somehow he was feeling being mistreated before. You know, sometimes when we are having a feeling, we don't act on that feeling except or until we are being pushed or rather until someone brings it to our notice or to confirm that the thought that we've been having for some time that we are actually right with our thinking i don't know if any of you have ever been in in the situation where you'll be thinking of something you don't want to take an action on that thing until maybe somebody will now do something that will not trigger something inside of you that will now finally make you to take an action i believe this is what happened to to Dan, justice Dan. Now listen to what he wrote in the comment section. So a popular Nigerian uh, blogger in her verified Instagram handle posted the video and also she actually pinned her comment, his comments. I'm talking about the person of Linda EKJ. Now his comment is, this is my apology to the Obedis family about the chronic cheating claims. Then he wrote at Cora Obedi and then at Nancy Umen and dad in brackets, Papa. Then he went on to say, June and Athena are my children and I love them. I will be there for them every day, even if. I'm not married to Cora. So the possibility that they might be they, they might actually be separating is there because and also it has also been confirmed, okay, or rather, there is also some speculation that he's really not, or rather, he's no longer in the house anymore. So with what he wrote here, the fact that and also with the apology video that he made that, yes, Cora cheated on him, but that was a long time ago. But any other thing that he said that is true, if we all remember very said, well, he's, in his apology, he said, yes, it's true Cora cheated, but it was initially like during the time they just started. And then he also said that, the other things that he said that they were all true so at the end of the day he's 
confirming, reconfirming that what he said is true. Even though he forgave Cora a long time ago, probably something else happened and that triggered it up again. So I believe everything that he said was true, that Cora actually cheated probably at the beginning of the relationship, that he forgave her. And then during all these years, other things has been going on, like maybe him being him feeling that he's not being treated properly and getting to the point that someone said it in their live stream that not prompted something in his you know in him that got him to come out are you getting me so this is how i see the whole thing okay and i'm sure he regrets because we all know that social media does not forget and um I'm sure he regrets coming out and um, yeah, we should wish them well and um, pray it goes well for, with them because at the end of the day, there's no marriage, there's no relationship that is perfect. Yes. I'm going to end it here guys. For Thank those you. coming across my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share if you can and um, definitely I'm, I'm going to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.